Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we will discuss on Metronic's installation again, but this time we will be on the latest Metronic version, which is version 7.0.1. So it's very similar to the previous versions, just that there may be a little differences in terms of folder structure, and we will go through it in this video. So First, we need to, of course, download Metronic. You can download it from Team Forest. You can just go to Team Forest, go to HTML, go to Popular Teams, and you'll see Metronic as one of the first few ones. Once here, you can just go ahead and buy. And once you purchase Metronic, you will see something like this, basically a simple zip file. And what you need to do is just unpack it. All right, we're done extracting. Let's see what's new in here. So you'll be introduced with the similar three folders, design, doc, and theme. Design and doc is the same thing where you have the designs and doc is where our official documentation sits. In the theme, we have a few new things. If we have our default, our default folders is now renamed to just HTML and our Angular is just Angular. And then we now have a Laravel version and React and also a Vue uh, a view version. So in this video, we're talking about our default, which is HTML. So if you're going to do that, just go into that. And in here, you see all of demos and a tools photo. Initially, our tools was within each demo, but since our demos are increasing more and more by the by the weeks, we now have a shared tools folder across all of them. So all we have to do now is we just have to go into our tools and then open up our command prompt to start installing uh, our assets. So if in case, you, um, uh, in case you're not familiar with this um, step, you can actually go to our official documentation, like um, kingkings.com and slash metronic, go to docs, or you can just go to our docs folder right here, which is within the package, go to docs and go to index, and you open that up, you see the same page, and then you just also navigate to docs. And in here, you see uh, two installation types. You have a GUP installation and a Webpack installation. So in this video, we'll be talking about um, GUP first. So first thing is to do is, uh, of course, you need to install Node if you don't have already. So let's go ahead and uh, so um, go ahead and do that. After that, you need to navigate to your tools and then open up your command prompt, and then install npm. You can just do that by just typing in um, npm like this. Just copy that, paste it here, and install it. If you don't have it yet, but if you do, then you can skip this. Same goes with yarn. And if you don't have gulp install, also go ahead and do that. Now, if, if you have an older version of gulp, um, what you need to do is you need to, you need to uninstall your gulp and then um, reinstall it. So what you do is you just remove your gulp CLI and then basically rerun this command. And then run, uh, you can run this command to remove your gulp. And then comes, uh, this is for you to check what version you're on. And it comes to the, the step where we need to build all of our uh, dependencies. So let's go ahead and just run yarn to start installing everything. All right, and we are done um, um, downloading all of our dependencies. So the next step, next step to do is to run gulp. Now, if you recall previously in our previous versions, all we needed to do is type in gulp and it will work. But uh, in this case or in this version and in this version onwards, um, since the tools folder is being shared across all demos, we need to define which demo we are going to compile. So in this example, we, we are going, going to compile demo one. So just type in demo one. If we need to compile like, or need to build another de a demo, just type in two, three or four or whichever and so on. So let's go ahead and install demo one. So the next thing we need to do is um, set up our local host. You can do that by just typing in gulp, local host, and then demo one. Or if you already have a uh, like a WAMP server or ZAMP, um, ZAMP server installed, you can use that too. But let's just go ahead and do this. 
So, all right, our localhost is running. So we copy this, put it into our browser, and there you have Metronic running. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video will be talking about how to do or how to install Metronic 7.0.1 and above using Webpack. Uh, methods will be similar, but um, stay tuned for that video. In the meantime, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when we release our next video, you get an update. Please follow, follow us on our social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook and so on. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.